hello hello familia welcome welcome my name is Magdalene Janet if you're new welcome to the fam please don't forget to like and subscribe because we're always here having a good time and come visit me on TikTok and Instagram because I'm there daily and of course welcome back to my oldie but goodie finally back with a lip swatch it's been raining and super cloudy the last few months the sunlight has been so questionable I haven't been able to lip swatch anything for you and I'm back finally you guys have been asking me to review these for the last three months yes these were least like in November. It's always better to be late than not. Revlon released these limitless matte lipsticks in 16 shades. Revlon was kind enough to send me four shades via PR and then I purchased the remaining six to give you a compilation of 10 shades so you can see how they look in studio lighting and in sunlight. As always I never use any other lip products when I'm lip swatching and doing a first impressions for you so you can really see how the color looks look. Oh by the way I love that Revlon wrapped their lipstick in these red wrappers you know it's safe and it hasn't been open so I love that okay oh that came out nicely look at this dope foot see that curve this is definitely lip hugging as you know, I have very baby lip. Good dofa is truly important. What I typically do is lip swatch all of the lipsticks here at the beginning in studio lighting and in daylight. Then I give you all the info about them. We're gonna do an e-test. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to eat. Without further ado, I'm gonna show you the order we're going in and then let's start. Family, I'm so excited for this lip swatch. So this is the order we're gonna go in. These are the matte lipsticks and then they're oh you see right there the numbers this is the order kind of smallest to large but then by eyeballing it i feel like it's lightest to dark here you know okay let's start all right fam starting off with numero uno beauty sleep This is the shade Beauty Sleep. And in daylight, this is Beauty Sleep with the undertone of warmth. Moving on to number two, Poster Child. This is the shade Poster Child. And in daylight, this is Poster Child. Undertone is neutral. Moving right along to number four, Model Behavior. the shade model behavior and in daylight this is model behavior this is the warm shade on to number six manifest This is the shade Manifest. And in daylight, this is Manifest Neutral Undertone. Moving on to number eight, Stir Me Up. This is the shade Stir Me Up. 
And in daylight, this is Stir Me Up. This is a neutral undertone. Next one up is number seven, Icon Era. This is the shade Icon Era. And in daylight, this is Icon Era. This is a cool undertone. Next one up is number 10, Top Talent. This is the shade Top Talent. And in daylight, this is Top Talent Warm Undertone. Moving on, moving on, no metal on set, fire off. This is the shade Fire Off. And in daylight, this is Fire Off. This is a cool undertone. Moving to number 15, Hype Girl. This is the shade Hype Girl. And in daylight, this is Hype Girl Neutral Undertone. Last one up, number 16, Extra Shock. This is the shade Extra Shot. And in daylight, this is Extra Shot Cool Undertone. No wonder you guys wanted to see these. Before we get started, let me give you info about these. The new-ish Revlon Colorstay Limitless MAC Lipsticks retail between $10 to $14. Formulated with triple hyaluronic acid, uncycled cranberry extract, suitable for sensitive lips. Lightweight filled with Adapti Flex technology for more comfortable flexibility. Comes in 16 vibrant shades designed with all complexions in mind. Find your undertone on the bottom of the pack. Applicator is contoured to fit your lips and deliver a smooth coat of vibrant color. Okay, now that we know everything. These are truly matte. I had such a hard time removing them. Anytime I did a swatch, look, I mean, 
it came off but barely like barely they're a little hydrating they're not super drying matte which is good oh i should have put my a and d ointment or like some lip balm or even a lip gloss a little thin layer and then added it onto my lips i may change the color but then i like this it matches the eye look too i don't know the dofa applicator i really like but it does take a lot of product out so if you have big lips it's great for you i just had to really scrape some off so it doesn't take over my lips like i showed you guys this dofa is really Really, really nice it hugs the lips so freaking well the pigment on these is great it dries pretty quickly i won't say like in three seconds but i'll give it a solid 30 seconds until it's dry that's how you're gonna build up the colors because the last three colors went on a little bit patchy because it's a wet formula it keeps kind of gliding so you want to let it dry down and then build so you can get this nice luscious color and you'll get it nice and pigmented exactly how the sofa applicator is that's typically how matte lipsticks work you have to let it dry a little for you to be able to build up the pigment depending on the formula it depends how many layers you can go i don't recommend going more than two or three layers on your lips because it's matte it will create a little bit of peeling and it will dry up your lips a little bit more and it may show some texture on your lip depending on the formula these are a little bit on the hydrating side put something underneath your lips to protect them and hydrate them what do you think about the shades glad i was able to lip swatch the majority of the collection for you they're now available everywhere on amazon walmart ulta target i will tag them down below i was really surprised how well it swatched i just didn't expect the formula maybe just to be as pigmented as it is i really really like them they're super comfortable i do feel them on my lips and look they do get sticky and look they can peel. That's something that happens with these matte lipsticks. I know a lot of like the perception of matte lipsticks is that it's matte and it'll stay on forever and it's just not gonna budge. That could be the case, but a lot of times in order to get to that point, you really have to let it dry down and that takes some time. Even now, it peels a little bit, but you can just add on. It is 435. I liked all the shades. I felt like all the shades worked out very, very well for my skin tone. That was another surprising thing about it pleasantly surprised thing that i like that every single shade i really didn't need a lip liner for it at all and you never know what shades and lipsticks i really love too that they put the undertone right here see for cool that is like the greatest idea i think that's super super helpful especially for you if you know warm shades look better cool shades look better i knew i was gonna like this red lipstick because it was cool because my favorite types of red are the cooler undertone tone red definitely brownie points for revlon oh beware you will get your tooth your teeth stained so just kind of do this once your lipstick dries and there is a slight scent to these oh it's like it's a sweet scent this is the scent though that revlon lipsticks have we'll start the clock 4 30 let's see how it goes switched over to 110 fire off food place doesn't open until five so i'm gonna call them at five and then we'll eat the food of choice today is indian food i have some rice let's put some rice you guys i was invited to laker game super last minute i'm gonna eat and head out some cheese naan a meat samosa this is like an appetizer chicken tikka masala is chicken in sauce so I like to put my chicken tikka masala on top of the rice. Oh my god, my mouth is watery. You can get it spicy or not as spicy. I'm not a big spice gal, you already know. And I like this green sauce for the samosa. So this is my little plate. Oh, so you guys saw I changed it. It does transfer a little bit. It feels dry though. The samosa first. Mm -hmm. mm. It has peas. Today has been such a busy day. I'm always so happy and thankful and grateful for busy days i was thinking about something i always get questions why i go like this when i do a lip swatch and the reason i move so you can see the color and lipstick in movement you can see texture you can see how it looks on each side instead of just kind of sitting like this sometimes just up front your lips look nice but it's the sides that be a little janky sometimes you know that's why i do it this is greasy and i could see it right on my lipstick Mm, 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 mm. This is a cheese naan. It has cheese in this bread. I'll just dip it in here. Okay, let's see. Oh wow, look, no transfer. Mm. What? I need more sauce. Mm -hmm. The portions here at this Indian place, they're so big. Oh, this is so good. I am a foodie. So I'm gonna continue eating. 
surprised. Let's see. Look, another little swipey swipe. Oh my. I knew these were matte, but not drying, you know? I'm eating a second samosa. These are so good. But let's see. Mm-mm. Damn, it's pigmented. No butt lips. Mmm. Revlon lipstick survived Indian food. I will say they'll make sure they're completely dry. These are yes. These are heck yes. Mm. It's 11 o'clock. Look how good this lipstick looks. I did reapply just in the middle one time. It looks freaking good. Let me know your thoughts on these. I will tag and link them down below everywhere you can buy them. And thank you so much for your patience and waiting for this video. So happy the sun was out and shining and it's still out and beautiful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and spending a little bit of your day with me. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the button right there and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!